What's going on, everyone? It's King Touch Pro, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. You guys have been killing it with the past a couple of videos that I've uploaded on the channel in terms of likes, in terms of engagement, in terms of subscribing. You guys have been killing it, and I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I hope you guys can continue the awesome support. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to um, not create animated uh, Instagram stories, but more on how to use these pre-made animated Instagram stories, whether you're going to be using it for Instagram, for Facebook, for Snapchat, YouTube, and let's see what else. I think there is WhatsApp as well. Yeah, WhatsApp. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so this is a really, really cool uh, pack or plugin that you guys can use uh, inside of Final Cut Pro 10. And all of these are pre-made, so you guys don't have to have any knowledge of keyframing or... Uh, just creating your own animations. This is all made for you. All you have to do is replace some things, whether it's text elements in pictures, video. Um, this video is sponsored by Digital Product 669. So shout outs to you. Thank you for allowing me to review this pack. And I really hope you guys like this pack as well. Guys, this is a really good investment. Um, it's 35 bucks. It's not free, but it's a really, really cool pack. These are some examples that you guys can create with this pack. And a lot of these are already pre-made, but some of these have been changed. Create a new project. I'm going to name this uh, animated story or animated uh, Instagram stories. And then we're gonna go to use custom settings. We're gonna change this to 1080p, or sorry, we're gonna go into custom. And we're gonna change this to 1080 uh, by 1920, which is a portrait version of uh, 1080, pretty much uh, 1920 by 1080. And they're gonna change the uh, frame rate to 30 frames if you want. And then the projection type, just leave that normal. Leave everything else how it is, but make sure that the uh, project settings is 1080 by 1920 to get a portrait or a ver uh, vertical video. So once you guys are done with this, if we go into the titles and generators, I'm going to go to the, t uh, the titles and we go down, you're going to see now we have um, the IG backgrounds, IG pre-made scenes, IG swipe up and the titles. You can rename these if you don't like the way it looks, just going back into the folders and change the name. What you want to do from this point is just choose one that you think you want to change. So I'm going to do this one and you're going to drag it into the uh, timeline. All right. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to push play. You're going to see how it looks like. And man, that looks so cool. So you can change the text here and I'm going to show you how to do that. So just click on this and you want to go into the inspector tab. You're going to have post parameters. You're going to scroll down and you can see all of the settings you guys can change. Now, I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. So over here with all of these boxes that are colored, that is what you're going to change the colors to. Like, let's say you don't want the first text one here. Let's say you don't want that color to be white. Maybe you want it to be, we go over here to the beginning. This is what's the first one here. Let's say you don't want that to be uh, white. Maybe you want it to be yellow or green or blue, whatever. You can change that in there. Okay. And then you can do the same thing for the text. You can do color filter, and I'm glad that they, they named this so you guys uh, can keep everything organized. If we scroll down, you can change the what they what the text says. So instead of saying hello, you can change and you can change the text to have it say um, I don't know uh, what's what's up. Now you can see if you if you add a lot of text, it's gonna get cut off. So to change that, just go into scale and just bring that down and you're done. That's all you have to do. No crazy editing or any of that stuff. So push play and you can see how it looks like and it brings all of them together as you can see. If we go all the way down, you're gonna you're gonna see the drop zones uh, here. You're gonna have one, two, three, four, depending on how many uh, picture elements there are. So you can see that in the beginning here, how we have the uh, this woman here is just chilling and then we have the Liberty, uh, the Statue of Liberty and then different photos of these people. So let's see what we want to change this to. So just click on this image. What you would do is you would click on this here. And then if you have images in the in this window here, you would just click on it and it will change that image to the background and it will just do it for you. Let's create our own, use a small portion of this 4K video. So I'm going to scale this up for him and I'm going to scale this up uh, just like that. And I'm going to move this over here. Some like that. Cool. So now I want to add some some interesting elements. So I'm going to go into the titles here. I want to add some a title. Like let's say this is a motivational, like I don't know, like something motivational. You want to add some text. 
I'm going to do the first one just because I think that one's kind of simple. So now if I push play, it's going to animate this like so. Okay. You can change the stroke width here if you want to make it thinner, if you want to make it thicker. I'm just going to do something like that. You can change the color of this. So I'm going to change the first one to like this color. And then we're going to do like yellow. You can change the alignment. So you can do upper right if you want the text to be there. You can do upper left. You can go into the center. You can do left. So you can do the height here. Maybe you want some like, maybe you want a square. You can do the width here. You can do something like this. From this point, let's say we want to add a swipe up. So we can click on one of these. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to drag this right above it. So now we have a swipe up here. Looks pretty cool. Kind of gives the person, uh, it, it entices the person to swipe up to visit your website or whatever it is. Now we're gonna do the transitions because I think that's what I've been waiting for. So if we go into IG transitions, if you installed it correctly as well, you're gonna have a whole bunch of, of transitions here. So you have kaleidoscope. So let's say we want to transition a video that I have. I'm gonna drag this right in front. You can do kaleidoscope. That one's pretty cool. I like that. We can do zoom out. Oh, I like these. Uh, but that is pretty much the pack. And of course, you can go in and, and do a lot more with this. You can see all of the individual titles. I'm not going to go through all of them because that will take a very long time. Just to save you some time, just download the pack and go through them your own. And I think that you can create something really interesting. If you guys have found this video to be really helpful and interesting, then please try out this pack. It looks super cool. You guys can get really creative with these. And, um, and yeah, so I will catch you guys on my next video. So be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and I will catch you on my next video. Peace out, guys.